guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button. And also be sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any videos. For my faithful family members, you all know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And guys, today I am so super excited because we are going to be doing a little work outside. Yay! I have to say, um, it has been quite cold here for us. <laughs> and I've said that probably in every video and that's because it is true, it has been quite chilly. And we did have a small break in the weather. Um, so I decided to get outside and try to get a few projects done. So we're going to do a quick little front porch refresh. Um, so, and I wanna share with you guys some new patio furniture that I received. So yes, I'm excited to hop right in. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I've done, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so we're starting on the back patio. And as you can see, my husband and Addison are unboxing this Yita Home Rattan Wicker four-piece outdoor furniture set. So guys, I have to say, Addison wanted to be such a big helper and he truly was today. <laughs> so he and daddy are going to um, put together this patio set. And so I am going to just film <laughs> instead of actually trying to help. So that was really exciting for me. And I will say this set seemed to be really easy to put together. I did do a little bit here or there, like I may have held up something for my husband while he was screwing it on. But for the most part, he was able to put all four pieces together by himself. And you can see Addison here helping with the cushions. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about this four piece set. It is with two chairs and a love seat sofa. And it comes with a little coffee table that has tempered glass um, for the insert. And it comes with all of the pillows that you see here um, with the two decorative pillows as well. So I have to say this set definitely seems to be very sturdy and it is made of a dur durable rattan material and it is constructed on a metal frame. So, and as I mentioned before, it was fairly easy to assemble. My husband basically did it by himself and within about an hour for all four pieces. Now guys, while we're outside here, I decided to move over our hammocks. You guys remember seeing these in one of our other backyard videos and you can see we are still loving them. These hammocks are by SunCreate. I will uh, have their information listed in my description box down below if you wanna get a couple of hammocks for your family. As you can see, not only is Addison enjoying it, my husband is as well while he's, since he's done all the work, now he's chilling and relaxing in the hammock. <laughs> so now let's turn our attention to the front porch. And guys, I did actually talk through this portion of the video, but the kids were outside playing and making a lot of noise. So I just decided to go ahead and do a voiceover. This is what the front porch is looking like from my last um, refresh, which was like an early spring porch refresh. And as you can see, I have my watering cans there. I need to move those out of the way along with a couple of pots there and all of those pillows. I don't know why so many pillows on that sofa, <laughs> um, but the two pillows there and my Hey Friends sign um, and my lanterns that, you know, I always have on the porch. So that's what my pre-spring porch was looking like after I removed all the Christmas decor. And I'm just showing you guys, since we've had some cold weather, all of my Wandering Jew plants have died back. And so I cut them down as much as possible. So they'll have an opportunity to come back once the weather breaks and we start getting spring weather. So we're gonna go ahead and remove everything. And my husband is blowing off the porch from all of the debris. Because even though it is, um, a more sunny day today than it was when we were in the backyard putting the patio set together. It's still a little bit chilly. Um, my husband has on a t-shirt, but for me, I didn't because I thought it was a little bit cool outside. So I said, we won't worry about pressure washing the porch until, again, the, the um, temperatures warm up a bit. 
So for now, he's just gonna blow off all of the debris so we'll have a nice, fairly clean slate to decorate. So we have the one of the chairs and the little love seat on the front porch. And guys, as you can see, I'm so sad the love seat does not fit. I was hoping that it was gonna fit perfectly right in that little alcove area, but um, I have it at an angle and it's blocking the door a little bit, which I guess I would have been okay with that, but then the chair is here and it's kinda out a little bit also. So I've got to do a little bit of rearranging and rethinking at this layout, but you know, I will get it together. Okay guys, so here is the final reveal. And I think it looks really nice and very welcoming. So uh, as you can see here, my, our guests are greeted with these two white planters with these beautiful snake plants, which my mom also refers to them as mother-in-law tongue, I think is what she says. Um, but at any rate, I did pick those up from Aldi. They were $12 each and they are such a beautiful size that I absolutely love them and I will be featuring them in another video coming up very soon. And then in this corner where I did want the sofa, I have a chair there and I'm panning up so you guys can see the wreath. And then I'm panning back down on the other side so you can see the other chair is there. And there is a close up of the plants that we have. And so this is a really, I think, inviting take on the front porch. I still have my pink and peach uh, peonies there, but as you can see, and I have the pillows to coordinate, but as you can see, the patio set came with the yellow and white pillows. So I wanted to bring a little yellow out into this display as well. So I placed a yellow forsythia wreath behind my peony wreath. So you can just see a little pop of the yellow on the wreath and I think it looks really pretty like that. And this yellow is giving me like all of the spring vibes. And so I was thinking that once I'm ready to actually purchase plants for the flower garden, I will definitely be adding yellow this year. Usually I do pinks and reds because those are like my favorites, but I am really feeling inspired with this yellow and I want to see it from spring through fall. <laughs> so, um, but for right now, the weather is not such that we want to place any flowers out in the flower garden just yet. So I will be doing that closer to, I think Good Friday is usually when my mom and I get out and work in the garden. But you can see the little rocker bench that I did have on the porch, I put it out in the yard here in the flower garden. You know, I did have a white bench there and the weather just has basically destroyed it. So I had to put it out uh, to pasture. I put it out for the trash. And so, yeah, I'm just really happy with how this porch makeover came together. I think it is very inviting. I think that these um, chairs from Yida Home look amazing. And I will be using the little sofa love seat in the back porch. So that means, of course, there will be a back patio refresh coming really, really soon. So make sure your notification bells are clicked so you won't miss any videos or any upcoming content. Okay guys, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. You know that helps me out tremendously. Also what helps me out is when you leave comments. So be sure to leave comments down below to let me know what you think about our front porch. Of course, I'm probably gonna add a few more things um, as we move more into the spring season, especially plants. So, but I was super excited to find those snake plants and I think they look really nice on the front porch, but they are going to have a home indoors and I'm probably standing in <laughs> their future home site right now. <laughs> so you want to be sure to come back um, to meet my new plant babies. I'll give you guys an update as to how my other house plants are doing and um, yeah, and then we'll do some decorating inside the house as well. 
So, um, but we need to get past this complete winter weather before I purchase any plants to go outside. Also, if you're interested in um, the patio set, be sure to check the description box down below. It is from Yita Home, and you can also get a discount. Yes, guys, a discount. And actually, now is a perfect time to purchase your um, outdoor furniture if you're needing any um, before we get to spring. So once spring starts, then um, you haven't missed out on some of the best deals. So yes, be sure to check the description box down below if you want more information on that product. Alrighty guys, again, if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos. Guys, this is the perfect time to subscribe to the channel because number one, we have lots of amazing content coming your way as we move into the spring season. If you are new here, then you should know that I love seasonal decorating and I also enjoy cooking, cleaning, I'm doing a weight loss journey. I sometimes do hair videos. So this is a lifestyle channel. If you want to know anything about decorating your home on a budget, then you are in the right place. Also, we are in the month of February. We are celebrating our 30,000 subscribers. Yay! I'm so happy to have reached this milestone. And so we are going to be hosting a 30K celebration at the end of the month. So you have just a couple of weeks to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below letting me know that you want to be entered into the giveaway. You want to enter in the comment section celebrating 30K. That will notify me that you want to be entered into the giveaway and leave me comments here. Leave me comments on other videos so that I can see that you are trying to be an active part of our community because that's what we love here. I love interacting with all of you guys. So yes, you still have time to enter to be one of the three giveaway winners of a $50 gift card. So yes, that's what we'll be doing at the end of this month. I'm gonna have a big live 30K celebration. I will be putting details in my community tab, so be sure to keep your eye out there. Make sure your notification bells are clicked so you won't miss any updated information. For my faithful family members, you all know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And of course, I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.